Here's your latest headlines and updated Kansas City forecast from 41 Action News. I'm Gabriella Pagan with 41 Action News. Here are your headlines for Sunday, April 18th. A big goal achieved in the effort to vaccinate Americans. The CDC says half of all adults have gotten at least one dose of the coronavirus vaccine. That equates to nearly 130 million Americans. And new on Sunday, additional charges have been announced in connection to the murder of 21 year old Ariel Starcher. She was found dead inside a duffel bag on the side of the rural road in Buchanan County in February of 2020. Marcus Brooks was arrested in February, but he was officially charged on Friday with first degree murder. In February, Taylor Stoughton was also charged with second degree murder in connection to the case. He told investigators that she and Brooks strangled Starcher inside a Kansas City hotel back on February 5th of 2020. His preliminary hearing is now scheduled for Thursday. Brooks' arraignment is set for Tuesday. And a suspect now in custody after an hours long standoff near 51st Street and Paseo this morning. Police arrived at a home in the area around 9 a.m. after a woman reported a man assaulted her and had a weapon. After many hours of negotiating, the suspect surrendered just before 1 o'clock Sunday afternoon. And some good news on Sunday, a gift for the Midwest Animal Rescue. Petco Love granted the Raytown Rescue $10,000. Staff at the rescue tell us this money will now mean lives saved for pets right here in our area across the metro. Your forecast is up next. Well, the pets will enjoy the weather this evening. We should be dry and temperatures by early Monday morning near 40 degrees. So kind of a chilly evening. Tomorrow we may hit our high temperature around 1 or 2 o'clock in the afternoon in the middle 60s as a really strong cold front comes through and winds will shift out of the northeast and then yes, accumulating snowfall becoming likely on Tuesday morning and then more chances of rain later on in the week. You can get your news and weather anytime at KSHB.com.